What's going on guys? What we're going to demonstrate right now is going to a contralateral position with the singer. And what do we mean by that? We mean that we want the 45 degree angle at minimum to be able to roll right back. So this is the same side lateral, this is the same side lateral, but contralateral I can't get 45. So when I go all the way up, the tube gets stopped by this rig right here at 30 degrees. I want to be able to go the rest of the 15 degrees to get to 45. The way I do that is I release the C, I release the can't, then I release the don't. The don't is actually called the super C. When I release this as well, I'm going to stand to the left side of the unit. I'm going to hold on to the top with this handle, and I'm going to hold on to the bottom. I'm simply going to step back and keep my left hand in place, and the unit's going to pivot. All three locks are free to move, and then I come back to the top in place. I lock things down. And now I can go 45, and then I can go even further if I wanted. I can go all the way over into a contralateral lateral. So again, without doing this, I'm stuck at 30 with this brace down below. The whole thing turned down. I can only go to 30. I have to pull it up in order to come all the way over and get to the contralateral oblique to hit at least 45 degrees. Oh, okay, uh, there is one more thing that I want to say. When we, in order to be successful with this movement, in order to be successful with this movement after we unlock all of these locks, you know, the, the C, the can't, and the don't, which is also called the super C, you have to keep this hand in space. You have to be mindful of where your hand is here because if your patient is draped and the, uh, the doctor has their instruments in and you're trying to perform this movement and you're not paying attention to this hand, look at all that movement. This is not what you want. What you want is for it to stay perfectly still, so be mindful of this hand, keep it in the same space as you come up and over. Right? So this takes a little bit of practice to keep it vertical as you do it. All right? One of the things I do is I get a solid base with my footwork and I have to make sure the hand comes back, the bottom hand comes back and comes over the top. So I'll take my same side, my right hand in this case and my right leg, my right leg is back to make room for my right hand to come back, pull my hip back with it, keep the left hand in place, and then I push my right hip forward. Right? That's, and that's even a little bit more motion than I want to say. So if I go slowly, there we go, that's better. That's nice. Right? One of the other things to, uh, that's really important here is the height of the seat of the II changes. So in the normal position, the II is, is here. Watch, pay attention, as I make this change, the II is going to lift. Did you see that height difference? Awesome. That matters a lot if, you're, if you've created a lot of space here and the tube is close to the bottom of the table, right? You wanna make sure that when you do that motion, you're not now coming up and hitting the bottom of the table as you change your position. Also, this motion cannot be done from the other side. This way. It's hung up and it stops. It won't go any further than this. You can't do it from the right side of the CR. Because this lock doesn't move the rest of the way. This lock doesn't move any further. Okay? You have to do it from the other side. 